let's level up in our faith. So I want to read a scripture for you guys really quickly, and then I'm going to pull and extract from it what I really want you to hone in. I want you to focus on. So we're going to talk about Father Abraham, who's the father of faith. All right. And so Romans 4, King James Version says, and he was not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead. And when he was about a hundred years old, he considered not the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and was fully persuaded that what he was that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. And so, how do we level up in our faith? How do we know that we need to level up in our faith? One of the things that you need to look at is you need to ask yourself, am I fully persuaded? It's been declared that, God, your plan for me is to prosper and not to harm me, to give me a hope and an expected outcome. Are you fully persuaded of that? You died that I may have life and have it more abundantly. You became poor that I might be rich, rich, Jesus. Are you fully persuaded of that? When things happen in your life and God tells you something is going to happen and this good is coming towards you and then things around you, your environment starts to look, look contrary to what God said. God said, are you still fully persuaded? The Bible says that Abraham said he, sta it says he staggered not at the promises of God, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And he was fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able so also to perform. And so in order to not be, to be strong at something, that means you have to exercise a muscle. When you think about when you go to the gym and you're exercising your muscles and you have that resistance, the resistance is the opposition that comes against us that tells us this isn't going to be. But if you keep pushing, pushing past and you keep allowing the word of God to be first place and final authority in your life, you'll look up and you'll see that muscle start to strengthen. You'll see that your faith starts to rise. And then you'll begin to see the manifestation of the promises of God. What was the manifestation for Abraham? Abraham, Isaac, Isaac, Sarah's womb was dead. They were past the childbearing season, but they pushed out and they were able to have the promised child, which was Isaac. And so there are some things that you're believing God for. There are some things that you want to see. And the promises of God are not subject to a pandemic. They're not subject to the blessings of God are not subject to COVID-19. It's not subject to anything. Whatever God says, he's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he'll do it. And you can take that to the bank. So let's level up in our faith and let's allow the word of God to carry the most weight in our lives. God is able to do what he said he will do. You have to believe that. So let's level up in our faith and walk out and receive what God has for us. Amen. Love you guys.